Hi, I'm Joel Richards with a look at what's happening in Latin America now. But before we get started, here's our news trivia. Which Latin American country was crowned champion in the first ever Women's Polo World Cup? We'll have the answer later on. Brazil has declared the end of the health emergency and announced that it will be lifting sanitary measures after seeing a drop in COVID-19 cases and deaths, as well as taking into account its wide vaccination coverage. Brazil decreed the COVID emergency status in February 2020. Over 660,000 people died because of the coronavirus and Brazil became the second hardest hit country in the world. Esta medida, no entanto, não significa o fim da COVID-19. Continuaremos a conviver com o vírus. Mexican lawmakers said no to an energy reform bill sponsored by President Andrés Manuel López Obrador. The reform proposed changes to strengthen the state-owned electricity provider. It intended to limit private and foreign investors. López Obrador called the congressmen who voted against the bill traitors. In Peru, anti-narcotics police incinerated more than 16 tons of drugs seized since the beginning of the year. Peru is one of the world's largest producers of cocaine, but authorities say production has decreased compared to 2021. And before we go on with the rest of this story, please note the images could be disturbing to some viewers. This happened in Argentina. A woman fainted on a train platform and fell onto the tracks as the train was arriving at the station. Railway workers rescued her and found that somehow she was barely hurt. She was rushed to local hospital and doctors confirmed she suffered only minor injuries. Costa Rica's president, Carlos Alvarado, is days away from leaving office and he has announced that he will not be receiving the $4,300 monthly allowance that all former presidents receive. As a result, he says he will be looking for a job when he leaves office. We'll be following Alvarado's new career path after May the 8th when Rodrigo Chavez will take over the presidency. Chile's capital, Santiago, is set to implement a plan to ration water. The drastic measures come as the region is experiencing a 13-year drought. Santiago is a city of 6 million and the restrictions could include cuts of up to 24 hours for about 1.7 million people. And now the answer to our news trivia. The answer was B. The Argentine women's polo team made history after beating the US 6-2 in the final game of the first ever Women's World Cup. The tournament was held at the Campo Argentino de Polo in Buenos Aires. Argentina has a long polo tradition with most of the top 20 players in the world born in this South American country. And that's it for this edition of Latin America Now. We'll see you again soon.